Okay, I want to talk about corruption. Now, when you go out to the Philippines, you become more apparent uh, how corruption is. Um, in the West, we, we believe it doesn't exist. Um, when you go out to the Philippines, what happens is you'll get a customs official that will go, oh, you know, I could do with it 500 pesos or whatever. You can get the guy that will go, oh, your visa needs to be processed today, does it? Mm. There's a backlog, but we do have an express lane. You do get the traffic enforcer that may pull you over and say, it's a 3,000 peso fine for this being broken or whatever, but you can pay me 500. Those are normal things in the Philippines. And people do not even question it. It is normal. But what happens in the UK um, and the US is we have an expectation of trust. We turn around and, well, the term trust is used a lot in the healthcare industry. We have a trust. Why do you think they chose those words very wisely? Um, because they fritter money. Uh, you'll have an executive on there skimming 120 grand a year for doing nothing. Trust. And um, and there was a conversation recently with somebody regarding um, some stalls they were doing for a fate. Nothing major, but they they'd done all the work for it and everything else, and it doesn't even get brought up in the committee meeting. Why? Because they had actually moved some zonal thing to someone else's benefit. So rather than bringing it up, they just avoided it completely. And that is the beginnings of corruption because that's benefited somebody. Um, and I've had it, I've had planning permission blocked before for a business um, because the competing business had relatives on the local council. Um, and I just could not get it through. It doesn't matter how much I tried because quite simply, they had created this little bubble of supplying furniture in an area and they would block anybody opening up corruption but obviously nobody ever told me that but you can see where i'm going with it and even speed cameras speed cameras are supposed to be safety cameras and only supposed to be in zones of um accident prone areas but you find them in areas that have a high rate of people speeding because they're for money. It's corruption. It's getting extra money out of the taxpayer into the police's, uh, policing council's funds. It's corruption. Don't care what they say, because legally they're breaking the law. Um, and the fact is, um, parking fines have just had the same thing. We don't have to pay the parking tickets, because there's a, some, something similar has happened with that, because they're not legally allowed to do it. Um, bailiffs, same. Bailiffs don't have a right of access to your house. If you close your door, nothing you can do about it. Same as when they intimidate other people uh, for somebody else. Maybe they've got a distant relative or something. They try to take other people's goods or, or try, because what they're trying to do is draw the person out that has the debt. Um, it's basic intimidation and you could have them arrested and thrown off your land for it, especially if the person they're looking for has got no connection with that person. It's corruption. Um, it's extortion, actually. <laughs> but the point is, you notice this more when you go back to the West. You notice where um, there's these little things going on. You'll be in the workplace and you can see it stinks of corruption. You can see people that have transferred in from other companies and contracts that were golfing buddies with with somebody else um, and before you would have just been like well that's just that but I find myself I'm more like that just stinks it's wrong um, you become more confrontational with it um, a recent thing come up where somebody um, got a job because his father gave somebody senior his job um, and then they wanted some sort of praise from other people within the company for this uh, blue eye boy uh, being brought on board. 
and everyone's just like it stinks of corporate grooming um corruption so that's what i wanted to talk about and i've gone on for five minutes but i'm just saying when you go to the philippines you'll become more aware of this stuff so when you come back to the west you're like yeah you do notice it more um and the point being in all this when people go Asia is so corrupt, blah, blah, blah. It's not. They are all corrupt. Every country is corrupt. I'll tell you now, if you try to bring your partner to the UK, you want to talk about corruption. £6,000 it costs in document processing for bringing a partner into the UK per person. So if you've got children as well, six grand per child. Corruption. That is stench of corruption. There's no reason for it to cost that much. Especially when a lot of the people just plod on in, buy a boats and everything else. And if you work work into the system and do it properly, they rob you blind. <laughs> but do you let it bother you? Well, the fact is, no. What you do is you rise above it. Because, like I was saying, that guy that got his job without any merit, just that his daddy get got him in. That's fine. I just won't help him. Um, he's not my problem. Um, I never get the opportunity where I can put somebody in that's uh, more suitable and more skilled and actually knows what they're doing. I would do, without a doubt. But it all comes down to morals, and I have them. Um, it may have stole my career at some at some times where um i can't get above a certain level or whatever but at the end of the day i can sleep at night i know a lot of people that are unhappy with things that go on around them um and they just can't let it drop you know they go on go home unhappy where i'll just like there's your job you can shove it and walk away because this is your life you know whatever they're doing shouldn't have a negative impact on you and like the same with the traffic enforcers and stuff i've never had to pay a fine but i've known some that tried to tell you know tried to get me to pay one and i was just like no 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 uh, you know and the thing with me is i'll, I'll quite happily argue with people not in a aggressive or, or bad way but simply point out that no 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 you, you're trying to you're trying to get this for nothing there's nothing wrong with it um but be aware when people think Philippines is corrupt, Philippines is corrupt. It is corrupt everywhere. And the reason I'm saying this is for you, for you to think about it, because when you get hassled here or there, bear in mind, the West is just better at it. They just fine you for everything. They put these little charges on everywhere and you go, oh, I've got to pay this up, just, uh, you know, in the Philippines, it's just in your face. It's just like, there you go. It's no different. It's all it's all corruption. But at the same time, some of it's in your face. Other things are done in such a mild way, you don't even know you're doing it. Um, for example, uh, the statutory off-road notification document in the UK for a car that um, has an expired MOT and tax sort of thing. That is a funny little document because when you think about it what benefit does it have because they don't go looking for the car if it hasn't had the um tax tax renewed you don't have them knocked at all the following week going where's the car i want to see if it's on your drive or not um it's just another tax because what they're doing is joe blogs like myself could be in spain right now um, taxes come up for renewal they don't send it to me in Spain they send it to the house in the UK so by the time I get back to the UK I've already been fined so that is corruption because there is a maneuver um, simply to get more money out of you um, and I don't, they can call it whatever they like but I call it corruption because at the end of the day the person that would use a car with no tax and that on it anyway they wouldn't care less that they had a stolen or not. They're not going to send off the paperwork, or they might do, but they're still going to use the car anyway. So what was the point of the document? Uh, thanks for watching.